to explain to you the idea, the new idea. I'm going to use figures, and for a while I'm going to give figures of things you already know, but it is the best way to see uh, in figures um, visually the new idea. So here is a way to depict expected value. The total area is, of course, expected value. First column P1 times X1 plus P2 times X2 plus Pn times Xn. Indeed, the area is a way to depict the expected value. I'm going to play with that figure to bring a new point. I'm going to rotate it left. There we are. And I'm going to copy it. Move it. And I'm going to flip it horizontally. There we are. So I see I played with the figure, but you are my witness that the area hasn't been changed over this. It's still the total area that you see here is the expected value of the lottery. So let me continue from that. So here is the figures that we had. This area is still the expected value of the lottery. Now, this area can be taken as the integral of the function of which this is the graph. You know, if you integrate the function, you get the area below. So we are interested, what kind of function would it be? So let us see. Let us take just one number, alpha, and see how high is it. Well, this highest is these two breasts together is the probabilities of the outcomes that are better. So this figure, this graph, for every outcome, it gives you the probability of that you get a better outcome than that outcome. So that's the graph that we see here. And that height, uh, we call that also the rank of the outcome. That function assigning to every outcome, how the probability of getting a better outcome is called the rank. And the rank dependent you tell, you already see that will play a role there. But you see here that the expected value of lottery can be obtained as the integral of the uh, rank. So that's one way to calculate expected value. I kind of prove it by you are my witness that it's correct. So here's another figure. Again, I start with the expected value. But now I'm going to explain in the figure what expected utility is. If expected utility, then we transform the height of every column into the u value. So maybe a u function works like this. I just took some arbitrary u function. Every column is play replaced by its u value. And only then we calculate the area. Then we get the expected utility. So the expected utility is p1 times now utility of x1. So we transform the distance of x1 all the way down to the axis into its u value. Then we transform the distance of x2 all the way down to the x-axis by its u value and so on. That way we get the green area and that area is the expected utility. So this is a way to depict expected utility. Now here comes a figure of the theory that the psychologists like, this transformation of, other, of probabilities, which I'm going to argue is wrong, but now let me depict it. So here you already saw that this is also a way to depict uh, the expected value of a lottery. I just uh, flipped it. Well, rotated, sorry, <laughs> and boldly I did. So then what the psychologists did is they replaced the P1 by WP1. Next, they replaced the value P2 by WP2 and so on. They do that for every uh, layer. That means for every height, they transform the distance from that point to its lower neighbor into the, its W value. They don't transform distances from uh, from points all the way down to the axis, but distances from points to their lower neighbors. That's what the old formula of the psychologists did. And that's how they get the value of the prospect. Because now the area of this brown um, this brown area, the total brown area, that is now the value of the lottery according to the psychologist. So here it is. I write the value. When you see, I replaced all the p values by the w values. That is the brown area. And as I already said, the distance from each point to its lower neighbor has been transformed here. Now we're going to play with these formulas, with these figures. I'm going to play with the lottery. I'm going to change the outcome x1, and I'm going to see 
how that affects the value of the lottery. And then we'll see that something strange happened, but that will be in the next recording. So here I'm going to finish this recording.